RSL fans, good evening to you and welcome inside of Rio Tinto Stadium on a gorgeous late April evening as we get you ready for a soccer Saturday night here on CW30. It's Real Salt Lake and Toronto FC. R yeah, Chris Schuler pairing up alongside Hamasen Olave. Will Johnson, Ned Grabovoy in the midfield right next to Javier Morales up top. Fabiano Spindola back from his red card suspension alongside Alvaro Sabarillas. The Toronto FC 11 tonight for Aaron Winter. A marked change from what we saw a week ago. Yeah, just two two changes off that loss against Chicago. The big movement, number 22, Torsten Franks, the former German international, back into the midfield. It's blue, just a slight breeze out of the north tonight. And RSL in the home red, the Toronto FC crew in the road white with a little bit of red trim and uh, not too unaccustomed to uh, conditions as of this but a great night for soccer expected and rsl begins things and ryan johnson takes it right away there's springs already getting a tut big bodies forward driven backside olave across and finished beckerman there schuler also there let's see who they give it to it's one nothing real salt lake in the seventh minute If it's Schuler, it's his third career goal and first of the season. It's set up by Olave. Mohamed and Olave climbs the ladder. Adrian Kahn, no chance whatsoever of even coming close defensively. Take another look at Adrian Kahn. Watch the just horrific, horrific defending for a team that's struggling so bad. Schuler just puts his body. It's going to be Kyle Beckerman, whose name's going to be recorded as the goal scorer for Beckerman, his third goal of the season, but just criminal, criminal marking from Adrian Kahn on that set piece. We saw Kyle's great help defense. Acevon, De Guzman, TFC's come out with a purpose here early. Avila in the box, a shot, and a goal! Eric Avila levels the match in the 48th. You gotta wonder, based on his performance tonight, why hasn't Eric Avila been a consistent starter for Toronto FC? Part of that random trade for Michael Santos to FC Dallas last year, when both ended up being ineligible for CONCACAF Champions League, look at that skill from Avila. You can see why there are rumors he was going to join Club America in Mexico last season. Shimmy's right, Shimmy's left. He just hangs. Hamasen Olave, one of the best defenders in Major League Soccer, out to dry again. Avila leveled, and there's the confidence for Toronto FC. Boy, you don't see that often. Great ball. Schuler to Javi. Javier back to Beckerman. Wide to Spindler. Left-footed ball bending in. A shot and a goal! Sabarillo! 57th minute, 2-1, RSL on a beautiful ball by Espindola. RSL grabs the lead back. Well, we take another look. It might even be an own goal off Richard Eckersley. This time, Sabo makes no mistake about it. Great job by Tony Beltran and Fabiano Espindola out on the flanks. Ball whipped in and watch. Final touch goes off the right knee. Watch the knee. Oh, the left knee of Richard Eckersley. Sabo goes fully extended, lays out. Eckersley, unfortunate ball into the back of the net. Real Salt Lake, 2-1 lead, 57th minute. Sabo had terrific position. And that ball could not have been played any better by a spindle Lenhardt situation, where both center backs get split too far apart. They're extended and they've got to be closer, shoulder to shoulder. You can't allow Ryan Johnson or any secondary run to come down the heart of your defense and split you. Javier in, Sabo, Sabo, oh, off the shins! Morgan and the keeper, Kosic there. And another corner kick, and this is reminiscent of what we've seen the last two weeks when San Jose and Kansas City had a number of corner kicks. Eventually, you're going to get a breakthrough. This is why Javier Morales is Javier Morales. If you ever wanted a perfect example, put it in swinger. Loose in front and in the back of the net. It's a goal for TFC. And it's the youngster, Henry, who puts it away. 
Daniil Henry has leveled the match at two in the 77th minute. Now Henry's going to get a booking for celebrating, putting his shirt over his head. Gets away from Sabarillo. Alvaro Sabarillo, the challenge, comes up from Beckerman in front. He just misses. And once again, the Achilles heel set pieces. Poor marking. Daniil Henry levels in the 77th. Sabo missed his mark in Kansas City two weeks. Thought defensively that he was going to take that shot. Settles it up for Will Johnson. Unfortunately, Will just can't settle. So Johnny Steele, straight shot for Ned Grappler. Ned's night done here in the 82nd minute. Subway sub brings Johnny Steele on. Oh, that exposed with the speed of Johnson and Plata. Morales across in front. Leaves it Steele. And a goal! Johnny Steele! Three minutes in to stoppage time. The third goal of the night. And RSL leads it 3-2. Posich can't believe it. You've got five TFC players laying down on the field. And the heartbreak and misery continues. Johnny Steele coming on. He made an impact in Portland, and he does it again. And don't discount whatsoever what Kyle Beckerman did on this play. Reached out, laid down sideways, and watch Beckerman. Full extension, settles perfectly. Steele steps up. He wants that left foot. Calm, cool, collected, cultured. And it gives Real Salt Lake the 3-2 lead at home. The man of steel with more late night heroics. He did it in Portland to level the match. That's it. That's that. Late night dramatics at Rio Tinto Stadium. Courtesy of the captain Kyle Beckerman and Johnny Steele. And RSL escapes with a 3-2 win after 90 minutes of soccer. Wow.